Hello, this is Baby Doll. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Hello, my doll hearts. How y'all doing today? So today's video is going to be about scams. So about four months ago, uh, I became friends with somebody that was like, if you give me $10, I'll give you $20. If you give me $20, I'll give you $40. If you give me $40, I'll give you $60. If you give me $60, I'll give you $80. If you give me $80, I'll give you $100. Okay, and I'm like, okay. I could, I could do that, you know, people, you know, be needing and people, you know, be needing money and, you know, I'm a good person. I don't borrow nothing from people because I'm not trying to owe nobody nothing and I get my own bag and so I never had to ask nobody for nothing because I don't like asking people for stuff. But, um, so I ended up sending this person uh, $20 and they never sent it back and which was cool and all because it was $20 but... There are people that scam you, and look, you're gonna you're gonna stop doing that. If I move you, you you need to stop doing that. If I move you, you need to stop moving. Oh, I'm on my YouTube channel while I'm still on live, and boo cool people joined. Cool. I guess y'all can watch my um my YouTube channel. Did y'all just see my drawers? Bro, my bad. Please, bro. Let's see. Let's see. I'm gonna pop you. Get down. Okay, so um okay, yeah, so I met somebody on Big O, which I'm gonna say it again. Uh somebody on Big O, their 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 uh username on here that be scamming people, his name is Tree. His name is Popular Tree on um Big O. So if any any y'all see him and he trying to uh Give, he trying to uh, be our friend. He might ask for money, but somebody named Popular Tree on Big O, he be scamming people. Um, his name is Popular Tree. Um, so another thing that I want to tell you guys, which you know, it's kind of a scam, kind of not a scam, but so uh, let's see. Um, three years ago, I had a boyfriend, and he was a drug dealer when we first met and at that point in my life I didn't like people buying me stuff because I didn't you know I just wasn't comfortable with people buying me stuff so he would you know ask to buy me food and stuff but you know I'm not I always said no because I always had my own like I just felt uncomfortable about money but you know as I got older you know things change like you know men's supposed to be a certain way in this lifetime I'm a woman I want to be took care of in another lifetime you know the world gonna take care of me in this lifetime but when I'm in, you know but the world could really take care of everybody but back to what I was talking about this ex stole three hundred and thirty two dollars and twelve cent for me so I'm telling you guys this because um I was his girlfriend we, we spent a lot of time together like met each other family was always with each other like before I had cherry he used to come pick me up and I didn't know this but he used to give his friend gas to come get me and stuff like that but you know you can be you can be close with people you can be friends with people um you can be close with people you can be friends with people but that doesn't mean nothing if they're in a, a tough situation if you got it they don't take it from you it don't matter just like people be stealing from stores and stuff like with some people with Baby, stop scratching on that chair. But there's some people that, uh, some people just don't, some people just like tormenting people. Some people just find it funny to hurt somebody. So those are some things that you need to be aware of and trust your emotions. Because if you feel like somebody's trying to scam you, then nine times out of ten they are. And if they really not trying to scam you and you thinking they will, they gonna scam you anyway, so I don't know. Just think about what you want. Which I was told this was a you know a vibe, bro. Some things I have seen and witnessed, and some things I feel like is some things that I manifest. I feel like I didn't manifest, but if I can manifest myself getting molested at a very young age and I feel like there's a lot of things from my past that I've probably thought about that I haven't really you know 
but then other people have their own path and depending on the situations but you know what would you do really what would you do you what you 20 you 19 or 20 i don't remember how old we was let's see i'm 23 right now three years ago okay so he was 19 you 19 or 20 years old your girlfriend got buku money she got a job she let you drive her car around you you, you know she, 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 you know when you was you know homeless she was riding her bike to bring you food and shit like that you know you got a you got a bitch that really love you that's doing all this shit for you why the fuck would you steal from her why the fuck would you steal from her but my point is no matter how good of a person you is the people people still scam people during this uh trying to find a sugar daddy um they would tell you to go get you a go get you a google gift card and if you put fifty dollars on it, I told them, look, I don't got fifty dollars, so um, I spent twenty. Which the first person that tried to scam me, but uh, the second person, they told me the gift card thing or whatever. But people really out here not caring about, you know, it's a game to people to see what they can get from you. It's funny to people. You may need. Or don't need what you giving away but you know you could really fall in love with a person and they steal three hundred and thirty two dollars from you and twelve cents so you know you you gotta really choose your battles I mean I know the way he was acting you know as far as other females I mean I mean honestly any person with me I'm gonna I'm gonna assume you know you got the baddest bitch so I'm assuming you already know you got the baddest bitch. So I'm gonna live such. I'm never gonna question or think anything because I know I'm the baddest bitch. So I never thought any person that ever cheated on me cheated on me. And the reason they probably cheated on me is because I was too confident. Mm. Bro, because I only need myself. It's been like that for years. But, you know, two relationships then, you know, seem different. But... All them other relationships, you know, y'all know I'm that nigga. My ex-wife, she know I'm that nigga. She know I took care of her. She know I took care of her. She know I did the damn thing. She she may have complained, but we ain't lagging nothing. We every 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 electricity bill was paid. Like when I don't owe nobody nothing other than my phone bill and my car insurance. I don't owe nobody nothing. I don't have kids yet. I just have my lacy kitty. So I don't owe nobody nothing yet. So um, I hope this video was really helpful. Just because you know a person don't mean they not going to scam you. Bro, like people be setting people up, you know, to get killed and stuff like that. Like, you know, around female, you know, female females kind of run the world because females be making shit shake. Females, you know. Females be making shit shake. But I hope you like, share, subscribe, comment. I hope you be safe and you know this you know there's you know there's a part of me is like think about what you want and nothing you don't want, but you can't change all look. Okay, look. There's so much negative shit in the world so what you do is not give a fuck do not be attached because shit's gonna happen whether you ready for it or not it's not just your story it's everybody's story but you do create your own reality it's how you react to things when you react to things better somebody steal from you like okay somebody could break into your house steal your stuff but you wanted to upgrade your shit anyway okay upgrade your shit make sure nobody can't fuck with your shit so just just make sure y'all stay on y'all stuff make sure y'all trust you know make sure y'all trust yourselves for for the most part if you ain't gonna trust nobody else in the world trust yourself trust your gut trust your intuition trust your inner being trust your god what, whatever you got to do to make it through your day because you know it took me two years to really understand 
what I'm trying to, you know, what I've been trying to tell y'all. And I've been understanding of, of this for two years, but it's only connected with me one. It's only connected with me one month, maybe two. So I know this is something that takes time and I know it's possible. I know it takes time. So I know you guys are going to come along and but the hardest part is really believing in yourself it, 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 it's, it's really hard some people say yeah I believe in myself yeah I believe in myself yeah I believe in myself but have a lot of insecurities and stuff like that and that really doesn't work but I hope you guys have a good day um y'all be safe y'all care for yourselves care for your bodies care for your minds care for your children care for your souls and make sure y'all children don't need y'all. Because we all die one day. You got to prepare your children at, at whatever age for your death. And I'm really realizing that. You, you got to prepare your children to live without you. And that's really what you're supposed to do. So if your kids are like too crazy when you pass, you failed as a parent. Because your children should be able to live without you. Because they only re really just teach them to only need themselves. So nothing can't hurt them. It may really seem like a lonely life. But it's not. Because you're going to find people just like you. It, it takes some time. You know. They're not all. Hey pick me. Pick me. Pick me. Pick me. It's you know. Who you give your attention to. You could come across a person. And have red flags. And then disregard them all. And go straight that way. But you've seen this already, so you can't be mad. So, you know, I hope you guys have a good day. And as always, I'm ending it with love.